my channel so today's video is just a very quick tutorial on base makeup for girls with freckles so today I have all drugstore products here with me so it is very affordable if you'd like to see what I have installed for you guys then just keep watching so today I'm going to start off by priming my face with the elf mineral face primer it looks like this Um, I did purchase this from Kmart for around about $8, so it is very affordable. Uh, I do think it is very important to prime your face. Um, it just leaves a nice smooth base for your foundation application. Um, it makes it last longer throughout the day. Um, I do moisturize before I put on my face primer, and then I wait about 30 minutes um, until I do do my primer. I just like to let my moisturizer sink in a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to take that on my foundation brush by MAC and start off in the middle and then work my way out. And definitely be sure to get this in the areas where your makeup does come off, does tend to come off throughout the day. I kind of like to avoid the eye area for some reason, um, just because I do prime my eyelids and I don't like to have too much around my eyes, you know what I mean? I don't know. Okay, so I've primed my face with my e.l.f. primer and now I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail foundation, my L'Oreal Paris True Match in the shade N5 Sand. Um, I do have a variety of these shades because I do use these in my kit. I absolutely love it. It is a very buildable foundation and it is from the drugstore. It does retail for, retail for around about the $30 mark, um, so it's great. So you just want to start off at the bottom and just work it into the skin. Be sure to kind of push into the skin, um, like pushing that into your pores instead of rubbing because um, you would just be rubbing the foundation around. So you really want to work that into the skin. light layer of my foundation all over my skin and I just wanted to mention um, with freckles it is very difficult to match your skin color you need to go a little bit warmer um, to try and get that in between comparison of your freckles and your natural skin color so secondly I'm going to conceal my under eye area and of course if you wanted to highlight you can but I'm not very tanned at the moment so I am going to skip that part. I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline New York. Looks like this. Okay so I'm just going to go in under my eye area. A little bit on my nose, my chin, and my cupid's bow, just a little, little bit because, like I said, I'm not tanned and I don't want to be too highlighted because it will just wash my face out. Then I'm going to go in with my makeup sponge by Real Techniques. Um, this is in Priceline here in Australia for around about 
seventeen dollars. Um, it is the most amazing sponge. It does. It just leaves a flawless finish, and it just blends out concealer perfectly. Um, you can get it on, I think, iHerb for around about six dollars. So it is a lot cheaper. Um, but yes, I'm just going to wet this sponge. Just make sure it's damp, and then you just want to blend that. Conceal it in. Also, with the under eye area, it is very sensitive, so you don't want to be pushing or rubbing or tugging or pulling um, too heavily because you will end up with stretched skin and wrinkles. So you just want to you want to tap and then kind of pull out and then up. Okay, so that's my concealer blended in. So now you just want to set your concealer. So you want to make sure it doesn't move around through the day. Um, it doesn't crease. So today I'm just going to be using um, a translucent loose powder by Face of Australia. This does retail for around about the $10 mark, I'm pretty sure. Um, it is a great setting powder. It doesn't add any extra coverage and that's what we're going for today a really natural look but by all means you can use whatever face powder you have or like or want um, to add extra coverage if that's what you want but with freckles you just need to be very careful that you don't overdo it and make your your skin look too cakey because it just does not look natural um, it is very hard to blend freckles uh, sometimes it does get very uh, frustrating but you just practice and blend and you should be right so you just wanted to tap off some of the powder into your lid just be careful you don't pick up too much on your brush at once so you just want to tap it into the brush and then tap it off the excess Okay, so I'm just going to go in under my eye area first and set that. And then you just want to dust it over the rest of your face. Okay, so now that my face is done, I'm just going to jump off camera, uh, do my brows, do my eye makeup, finish my face, and then I'll jump back on and talk to you guys then. Okay, so now I'm back with the finished look. I did want to stick to our theme and keep it all natural. Natural brows, natural eyes, natural cheeks, and a natural lip. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I will list all the products I use for the rest of my face down below. A thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And a comment. Leave me a comment and tell me guys what you'd like to see next. Um, until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye.